Yo, what's going on guys? So, as many of you guys know by now, the new Ghost Tower and the new Ghost Crates are out. And with it, along with a little update that today I'm going to cover. But before we do that guys, make sure to stay tuned on my channel because the next video I'm going to do after this is showing off the Ghost Tower a little more and opening some Ghost Crates. But, before we get into the video, make sure to subscribe and join the Pepper Nation from the link in the description. Alright, so now we got the Ghost Tower and as you guys can see, the one on the left is Stealth. But I'm going to get more to that in the next video. So starting with the updates, now we got the Laser Gunner. And now you can get the stealth sensor, and instead of maxing out the bottom path, you can get out the third upgrade for the bottom path. Now moving on to the top path for the laser gunner, at levels 4 and 5, it has a new stun ability, doing stuns with every shot. They stun for 0.3 seconds, and that ability is active for 12 seconds. There is a little bit of a cooldown so you don't stun like the enemies, and it does not apply to many bosses or bosses. Now moving on to the sniper, it now gets stealth on the 4th and 5th top path upgrade, and the upgrades are cheaper. For the bottom path, upgrade 4 has more range, Upgrade 5 is now a laser type, so instead of bullets, it's lasers. And the flare gun cooldown reduced from 15 seconds to 10 seconds, and the health is overall increased. Now to one of my favorite towers, the mine layer. He has more health and is cheaper overall. And now if you hover over the mines, it will show you what level they are and if they have self detection or not. And the range. Now moving on to the John Tower, the shoulder railgun went from 180 damage to 400 damage, which is great. And the AK shotgun plus went from 6k to 5250. Now moving on to the Cryo Ranger, it's been buffed to be cheaper and to freeze more. That's it. <laughs> now moving on to Barracks, the upgrades are cheaper and the flamethrower does 200 DPS. Ooh. Now moving to Artillery, the bottom path upgrades 3 and 4 have been buffed with better range, more splash, and a higher damage. And the Skyhawk Artillery is now 100k to deal 2k damage while ignoring explosive resistance. So it's nice, but you know, it's still costy. Now moving on to the XWM turret, the 4th top path upgrade is going to cost 58,000 now instead of 50,000 and the 5th top path upgrade is going to cost 138,000 instead of 135,000. For the Juggernaut, the full power upgrade has an additional 75 DPS. Now moving on to the armor factory, the top path now spawns it faster, the Emerald Abrams went from 20k to 27k and the maxed out bottom path went from 60k to 54k. Now for the final tower, the maxed out bottom path for the warship is now 265,000. Now moving on to the maps, Ancient Sky Island went from simple to easy, and Dead End Valley went from impossible to hard. And Elite has been nerfed overall, a lot of less stealth enemies, and the goal has been slightly increased from 685 to 700. So it's, I mean, overall better, you know? But yeah, you guys, that's everything with the update, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to stay tuned for the next episode because I'm going to be dropping a whole review and like just be going more in depth to the Ghost Tower and the Ghost Crates. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to go ahead and subscribe. And see ya!